Welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, today I've got a quick first impressions review and tutorial, get the look tutorial featuring the new Urban Decay Back Talk palette. Now, this palette, uh, I believe, revolves around their Back Talk lipstick, which I'm sure I've said before, the Back Talk shade Vice lipstick is one of my favorite shades from Urban Decay. So I was really excited when I first saw they were coming out with a palette kind of based around those that kind of shade those mauve tones i think it's absolutely beautiful now this is a palette that includes eyeshadows there are 12 eyeshadows as well as two blushes and two highlights and it is a 46 dollars palette something that i think is really neat about this palette is that it opens up and if you saw any of the pictures you would see that it has the you know highlights and blushes on one side the shadows on the other and then the mirror in the middle but one thing i didn't realize until i got it was that the mirror is actually removable which I thought was a really neat concept and idea it's a really sturdy mirror and um, you can lay this flat and you could have the mirror here or you can remove it to use it if you want to or need to I think it'd be a really great palette for traveling it's very uh, you know um, compact and I think it just looks really really nice now I will say that this is just my second time using this palette. It's actually my first time using the um, the blush and the highlights from this palette, um, but it is my second time using the eyeshadows. I tried the eyeshadows probably like the first or second day I got this palette just because I was really curious to test them out and see what they were like. And I will say that right off the bat, I was really impressed with the matte shades. I think they're really beautiful, very pigmented. I love Urban Decay mattes. They, they just are really great with their matte shades. Um, the shimmer shades I will say that I feel are a little bit lackluster. Um, now I want to mention really quick and I do mention this in the tutorial that I didn't I don't use an eyeshadow primer often I used to but I don't really don't anymore. Um, I just don't feel like I need to. There are many shadows and shades out there that work amazingly without a primer without a setting spray and they go on gorgeously um, and I realize that not every shadow does that. Some really do require an eyeshadow primer or some setting spray to really show up and work and these are these metallic or shimmery shades are of that nature they definitely will need a primer or setting spray to really get the shadow to show up and pop um I used one shade today, the shade shade actually, and I tried it first just to see what it was like without a primer and it really was lackluster, it really wasn't showing up in pigmentation. Um, and so when I did use a primer, it did look really pigmented and really beautiful. And this kind of thing kind of just really reminds me of the um, Naked palettes. That's something I felt, I feel like with the Urban Decay Naked palettes, the metallics and shimmers in those in my experience are just like that. They're not my favorite. That's why whenever I've received other um, eyeshadow palettes from Urban Decay, I've always been really surprised um, when the metallics are really good. Like the Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope palette, those metallics are amazing. They must be like a different formula, I don't know, but they're really good. Um, and just so pigmented and they apply without any trouble. But um, these ones <sighs> was a little bit just yeah, a little bit lackluster to me, so that was a little bit disappointing. Of course, this is more of a first impression, this being my second time really using the shadows. Um, I might change my mind as I continue playing with them, but first um, impressions right off the bat, the shimmer shades are kind of like, eh, to me, I'm not super, super impressed. I'm not mad at them because again, like I said, I know not every shadow will apply beautifully, um, you know, without a primer, but I know there are shades out there that do. Um, so anyways, first impressions are a little bit lackluster, but overall I do think this is a beautiful palette, a beautiful um, collection. I think the blush in this is my favorite in the palette, and um, I think it's really nice. I love the tone, so I am sad that um, even though this is like a palette that where the, the shades really speak to me, that the some of the shadows in there are a little bit lackluster in my opinion. So it's not a palette that I feel comfortable right now saying, I totally recommend, get this, it's amazing. 
Um, I would say if you like the shades and you're curious about it, wait a little bit because I've been noticing a trend with Urban Decay. They've been coming out with so much stuff um, and their products have been going on sale rather quickly. So if you're interested in this palette but don't not willing to pay full price, wait a little bit longer. I guarantee it'll probably go on sale um, and you can get it at a little bit of a better price because I don't think the quality is awful, but it's not the best um, quality from Urban Decay in my opinion and my experience. So that is just my two cents. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I did receive this in PR, so I always feel bad um, talking like negatively about products that I receive that I'm gifted because I don't want people to think I'm ungrateful. I am so grateful and thankful every time I receive products, but just because I receive a product for free does not mean it's going to sway my opinion to be more positive. I'm always going to give you my honest thoughts and opinions and tell you guys the truth on what I think about a product and whether I recommend it or not. Um, I do think the shades are gorgeous and obviously I'm, I love the look I created. Um, I had really no major idea of what I was going to do with this look. I had a small teensy weensy idea of what I might do but wasn't sure and I've mentioned this in other videos and, and on my Instagram page that I've been in a real big funk when it comes to um, eye makeup looks and stuff. I feel like every time I try to create something it turns to garbage and I was just like so defeated but today I was like I'm just gonna turn my camera on and try to film something and see how it goes and I actually I'm so happy I did because I love the way this look turned out. Um, so it's not like you can't create a gorgeous look with it um, but it, it takes a little bit more pampering if that makes sense. So those are just my first impression thoughts on this palette um, and so I hope you found it helpful and with all that being said let's go ahead and get on to my tutorial. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing because I suck at makeup but I want to use a new palette. <laughs> yeah I really I don't know what I'm gonna do but I got this new palette from Urban Decay Back Talk. It's really, really pretty. These shades are speaking to me. And I feel like I suck at makeup lately, but I'm gonna play around with it. Don't have any plans in mind. We're just gonna wing it. I'm gonna start off with the shade Three Sheets. And I'm gonna take that all over my lid from lash line to brow bone. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into the shade Back Talk, taking that into my crease. Okay, and I'm just gonna be slowly building up that color, just adding a little bit more on out of a time. And if anyone's curious, I am using a Pro Crease Brush from Beauty Junkies. This is just like a fluffy blending brush, but just a, a little bit smaller, so I can get a little bit more of a focused blend right where I want it in my crease, which is what I've been trying to do more lately instead of just having this big blown out shadows that are kind of like all over the place. So I really like this brush. All right, so next I think I'm gonna go into the shade Shade and I'm gonna be applying that over my entire lid. I'm gonna be using a flat brush to apply this shade and um, I actually don't have any primer on my eyelids right now, so I'm gonna go in first without any kind of primer or setting spray or anything and see how it applies and then if I need to I might add something to help it stick a little bit better but we'll see. Yeah this is not applying very well so again like I said I didn't have any primer or anything on my eyes though so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and have to get something on my eyes. Okay so what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Put that on my lid where I want to put the shadow, and then I will apply the shadow over top of it. I do think I'm going to go ahead and cover this shadow up with some glitter anyways, but still, I just wanted to have a base down, and this just shows like how well this does or doesn't apply. <laughs> so that lets us know the quality of this palette. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the shade right on top of it. The shade shade. <laughs> okay, that's definitely much better. Okay, next up I'm going to go into the shade 180 with a little smudgy brush. I'm going to take that to the outer corner of my eye, kind of smudge it in my outer B area. Now I'm just going to go back in with that first brush I used with the shade Back Talk just to blend that in, make it look a little bit more seamless. You guys know the drill. 
So this is what we have so far on my eyes, but I think I definitely want to add some glitter and amp this look up. I have these two from Urban Decay. They are in the shades Punk Rock, which is this darker purpley one, and the shade Cat Call, which is a lighter pink and silver one. What I'm gonna do is use this lighter pink one to do kind of like uh, a faux cut crease kind of a look on my lids here and then use this one I was initially thinking about using this all over the lid on top of this color here But I think I just want to add it to the outer corner here in between uh, the brown and the pink shade there just to kind of add a little something there I'm not quite sure but um, I think we're just gonna attempt that and see how it looks Okay, I like this color a lot. I think I'm gonna put it over, I think I am gonna go ahead and take it over all of my lid. I'm gonna do it kind of sparingly, but I am gonna take it all over my lid. It's just so pretty, I want it all over. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade Cat Call and go ahead and kind of line my lid for a cut crease kind of look. <laughs> Not sure how else to describe that, but that's what I will be doing. Okay, now because I'm feeling a little crazy and adventurous, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt a wing liner. I am so nervous, oh my goodness, to try this, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna be using the NYC liquid liner that a friend sent me. She said it's the best, her favorite amazing liner, so we're gonna give it a go. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. I have to do a little bit of cleanup to make these wings look better. I did that off camera, um, but uh, I'm just not a wing girl, but hey, I tried it. Anyways, we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna go into the shade Back Talk, apply that to my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna go back into the shade 180 and bring that to my lower lash line as well, just to deepen it up. All right, so that is about it for the eyes right now. I am gonna go and put on the rest of my face before I move back onto my eyes. I'm gonna put on some lashes, but I wanna do the rest of my face first, and I will come back to use the other side of this palette, which does include blushes and highlights. So, I'll be right back like that. All right, so moving on, I'm going to be putting on some lashes. Of course, I'm gonna be doing my favorites, the Pure Cosmetics bombshell lashes. Right now that we're done with the eyes for the most part, I might pop a little bit of the highlighter there in a minute, but I am going to move on to the other side of this palette, which does include highlights and blushes. There are two more um, blush shades and then two kind of like highlighter shades and so I'm gonna try some of those um, a couple of those a blush and a highlight on my cheeks okay so the blush just kind of speaking to me most is the shade double take it's more of a warmer blush kind of like a rosy uh, mauve shade and then um, so I'm gonna use that because cheap shot is more of a cool toned pinky purpley blush and it looks like it's a little bit more shimmery, like kind of like a satiny, whereas Double Take looks a little bit more matte. So I'm gonna go in with that shade, Double Take, for my blush. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, I like it. It does get a little bit of powdery, kick up -y, um, just from I'm kind of like just tapping my blush in like this. So there is quite a bit of kick up, which I don't mind, because how often do we go through blushes? me like three or four years <laughs> and it makes it pretty um pigmented and blendable so far from what i could tell oh that's really pretty i really like this shade i think it goes really well with my look too okay and then for highlight i'm going to use the shade party foul I think I like that a little bit better than this kind of corally um, orange shimmer highlight, so. Okay, and it gives a really nice glow. It's nothing that like super wows me, but it is pretty. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my cupid's bow. 
I'll add it on my nose and then also on my eyes too with a pencil brush in just a minute as well. Okay, and then for a lip gloss, I am going to go in with this brand new lip gloss from Urban Decay. It is their High Fi Shine lip gloss, and of course, I'm going to be taking the shade Back Talk to go along with this look. So these lip glosses are actually um, ones I received in PR. I received, I believe, the entire collection of them. I was gonna do a lip swatch video of them. I just ran out of time, but I will tell you, I've had these about, what has it been, like two weeks now that I've had these lip glosses and I already love them. They are an amazing formula, not too sticky. They are very long lasting, they're very comfortable. I love the scent of them. It's almost like a peppermint, slight maybe chocolate or white chocolate peppermint but the peppermint scent really stands out the most um, and it's it's very yummy these are gorgeous glosses I I love them I really recommend all right beauty babes that wraps it up for this look and tutorial I really hope you enjoyed this look using all kinds of back top products from Urban Decay. Let me know if you purchased this palette or if you plan to purchase it or if you're deciding to stay away from it after watching my video and my first impression thoughts in the beginning. Um, definitely share your thoughts and let's start a discussion in the comment section. And I just want to thank you so much for watching and until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye beauty babes.